Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. I was going to do a big month long kind of uh, review on the Kanga casemate. I was going to, and I am in day one right now, and I can plainly see if I'm wrong, I make a huge mistake, and I totally apologize, and I'll give it its chances as I go. But um, I can't recommend it at all because, like these, like you get one flap, one flap right there. I think if it had Velcro all around here, here, let me spin you around. Uh, if it had Velcro all around here, I think it would be okay, kinda, sorta, but not for seven hours like they claim. This is just neoprene right here. Uh, so heat is getting through here, no problem. Because if you're matching up your Velcro, if I, if I was to get it tight, right? See this? I'm below the Velcro line. So it's, if, if I meet the Velcro line, I'm now exposing this to plain old air. It's just neoprene right here. Um, inside here, you do get some sort of insulation here, but super thin. And here is uh, um, the handle strap. It looks like it, it does a good job. The handle strap is uh, threading around through the, You see these thread lines here. Thread line, uh, threading along the side here and then this meets this thread here and then this is where this X pattern is to get your handy strap. Uh, super cheaply made, like when this came, there was a ton of overhang here. So basically when you would grab this and pull this up, you risk tearing this completely off. So I trimmed this down nice and neat like it should have been. So this is hot as hell and it's been out here like an hour. So it went from I put this cooler in the freezer for like three hours. This came right out of the fridge, the 12 pack, right into here, out here for like an hour. It's just this exposed heat. You can see it's just this much air. I mean, it's just like it was sitting out. So whatever you grab, it's just, there's no way seven hours, no way. So I highly not recommend this. All right, so I'm doing this voiceover now work because I've had a night to sleep on it. That was my first initial reaction from receiving it in the mail. That day, I was a little irritated about it because I really wanted it to work, and my mind was in a different state of mind, and what I got was not what I thought I was going to get. So just be aware of what you're getting, right? I think I got my fingers crossed on this, but I'm thinking I can do some modifications to it because it's – to me not the correct thickness of material for cooling something down but they've done this trial and error stuff i just don't think it adds up too well but i'm going to give that liner a shot but i'm going to modify that flap as best as humanly possible and here you can see what the whole thing is made out of the fabric the insulation the liner all this stuff is right there i said it was neoprene i don't really know exactly what neoprene is completely made out of so it could be a combination of these things but it felt like neoprene but I guess it's polyester and some foam rubber. Uh, I have a cheap uh, igloo cooler that is insulated correctly, like the thickness, and it's it's is right, I think, where this should be. And it feels solid, strong, and thick to the touch. And the lid on the igloo cooler is like how I would think this flap should be. Um, so you can see a picture of that. It has Velcro all around. It has... The insulation on the flap itself to kind of once you close it seal it completely off I wish it did that I wish that there was a better um, I guess seal where the zipper is you can see a lot of light coming through the zipper you can see a lot of light if you match up the velcro to velcro on the lid itself or the flap and close it down there's a lot of light there's like almost an inch worth of gap which is kind of crazy to be there, but I think there's enough room in that flap for me to make these modifications to it and it still work okay. So I'm, I've got um, some pieces of um, liner type material that they have that's from my igloo cooler. It's actual insert that I don't use, so I'm just going to turn around and use what igloo uses and try to adjust and fix that flap. I plan on adding more Velcro to the left and right side of it. I'm going to try my best to work on this to get this to where I think it will work. And another thing that it's going to have to have, it's just going to have to have it, is a gel pack 
and speaking with them through messaging back and forth through an Instagram post. So go over and check out that Instagram thread, which is on one of my casemate posts about it. Uh, the manufacturer and me were talking back and forth. So that'd be a good read for you if you're interested in purchasing this. But anyway, go check that out. Uh, they are actually, I brought up the ideas I had to them and they were like, hey, we're working on this. That is a gel pack, I guess a plastic gel pack that is going to be the exact same size of a 12 ounce can. So that works great in my mind, in my thinking, because I could just take one can out immediately immediately, uh, and put one in and always keep that gel can in. And that would really help in my eyes, you know, to keep a 12 pack cold. I don't think a 24 pack a case uh, would work out for this at all. I think it's kind of geared in my mind for a 12 pack. And I think that's a personal amount for a day of drinking in my eyes. It's a 12 pack of beer. So that fits me perfectly. And I think if you're going to have multiple individuals drinking out of that beer, everybody should have kind of their own 12 pack sort of. If you're, if you're day drinking out of the lake or on the back patio, like I was because an hour and then the temperature just lowered. It's just too drafty. It's just too much, much heat coming in. I'm in the South, North Alabama. We're in transition to to hell right now so uh, i'm kind of enjoying this may transition because when june hits it's going to be super duper hot and this thing's not going to tolerate that at all it's, your, your beer is just going to get hot so that's where i'm at with it i hope you've enjoyed this little slideshow these little pics but my first initial reaction was just of temperament i think of disappointment but i think i'm going to try to turn this thing around as best i could possibly do it if they come out with a version two i really think they need to focus on and just take an igloo soft cooler like i have which was ten dollars more than what the casemate was and it holds stuff crazy long time and i think the thickness is correct for the insulation on the soft igloo cooler i have and this is what the casemate should be a little thicker uh, a little denser material around it a uh, better flap better seal a better zipper seal and i think it could get to the point to where it's saying it's at now and i don't think it matches up at all i think it's impossible for that to match up anyway make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified on the next product review i got coming out or uh the one that i might be upset about next see ya